Hello and welcome to another video of My California. My name is Martin and this video is very special because it's shot in 360. So that means that you can t look around and uh, zoom in a little bit if you want to see things more clearly. And I especially did this because in this video I want to talk about the interior of the Volkswagen California um, Ocean, like we're in now, and, and main, a lot of parts are also similar for a, a California Coast, and even for a T5 uh, California Comfort Line. So let's get started. Um, I just want to go over the interior, the layout and everything that's in the interior because a lot of people are asking uh, for more details, especially when they come over here. Um, I have to explain a lot of stuff. So the concept of a, a Volkswagen California has always been to travel with four people and to sleep four people. So you can live with, in this car for four people. So and at this moment you are sitting uh, in the, uh, the, not the driver's seat, but the passenger seat in the front and I've turned that seat around. So both of the seats uh, have sw are swivel seats so you can turn them around and in that way you can create like a living room space. Um, the seat where you are sitting in uh, is very easy to turn around. You just open the door and there's a lever down here at the bottom of the chair and then you turn that around and then it swivels. This seat is a little bit more hard um, because now I've also put it in the upright position and if you want to turn it around you have to put the backrest all the way forward and you have to put the steering wheel in and that way you can just about turn the seat and, uh, and then you have seating for four people. So what a lot of people do if you travel with two or three people then you will never turn the seat around because it's too much hassle. Every time that you're gonna drive away to your next location, you have to find your perfect driver's uh, position again. And for a lot of people, that's too much hassle. And another good thing about keeping the seat like it is, it's also a stairs, I use it as a stair, um, to go to the, the, the upper bed. So you can stand on the seat where uh, you're located now, and then you can put one foot on here, and you can sit down on the top bed. Uh, never stand on the armrests because that's um, not just not strong enough but you can stand on the on the backrest on the top and then you can sit down and of course one of the main features is that there is a bed in the top so if you just pull this down you can see the bed is there so that sleeps um, now two people it's 120 by 2 meter and it has a, 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 a good quite good uh, mattress there's, uh, there's enough comfort there and you can just stand on this seat of course without shoes on and then one uh, foot you put here and then you're gonna sit up and one of the main uh, uh, good points about this roof is that you can sit up straight so you can um, a lot of older pop-up roofs and a lot of other manufacturers the, the roof is not that high you will sit cramped like this but in the California roof it's very high um, there's a lot of space and you can sit up straight and you can just and there's a lot of uh, room for your feet as well in the back so that's quite comfortable now and in the daytime you just push this and the whole bed goes up and now I have enough space to stand up so that's amazing and of course the other seat is, is here it's located here it's a two-seater the dimensions are 117 by if, if it, the bed is folded out it's also two meters so it's also two meters long and uh, the way you make this into a bed is that you have a lever here down here you just sit in the middle of the seat never on the side because then the, the seat can move a bit and it, it might get stuck so you sit in the middle you pull this lever all the way up and then you walk forward until you cannot walk anymore until it stops and you let go of the lever and then in between the seat there is a black um, strap you hold that and you first you fold the, uh, the headrest down there's a button in between you push the button and you fold it you flip it over and here as well you flip it over now you take the strap you pull and then you push the seat down now this uh, particular model is a 2018 model with a comfort mattress this is an option so you can push pull the comfort mattress and now your bed uh, is the size is two meters long there's some LED lighting in the back, I've turned that on already. Um, so, it's 
there's enough space for two. So, and if you fold it back up, just again pull this strap, and the seat will come up automatically. And the headrest back up, sit in the middle, pull the lever, and go all the way to the back. So in that way you just have four beds to sleep in. But of course you also want to live in your day-to-day -day life and one of the things you need is a table. So the California provides two tables. The, the, the coast and the ocean have two tables. One is located here. There's a button. And you slide the table. I can show you the way it works. I just put it a little bit higher. So this is what I did. Here's a connection. And there's a leg, a red button here, and then the table goes down. And this way you have a table and you can sit with four people. You can move it around a bit. It's, um, and it's pretty stable as well. This way you can put it back, slide, and push a little bit so that it will lock into a, uh, a secure position that it will not rattle uh, during driving. So make sure it's locked correctly. But there's another table. And it's here in the sliding door. This is the sliding door of the car. Um, and there's a lever here. You can push it upwards and then the table comes out. So in this table it's, it's actually for outside. So it's, 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 it's larger than the other one. And you have four legs. So one, and you just pull out the legs and there are four of them. You can put it outside, and um, of course, as you know, you probably know, there are also two camping chairs in the tailgate, and then you have uh, you can sit with two people outside. Push the knob here, and then it comes back down. Push the knob, and then you can put it back in the door. Push it and make sure it's locked. Um, as it should. Now then also in the um, uh, kitchen you also have, uh, this kitchen is made from uh, aluminium sandwich. Um, it's like an airplane style kitchen unit so it's light and strong um, and, it and it has some good features. So we have water, we have a two burner hub and we have a fridge. First of all the water um, there are, there's around 30 liter of uh, uh, clean water and the wastewater tank is also around 30 liters. And those tanks, they are not underneath the car, but they are in the car. So the clean water tank is in the back of the kitchen unit. Um, and you can fill it up from the outside. As you may have seen already, there's a, uh, a connector there. You can put a hose in and then uh, fill the tank up. But the, uh, the wastewater tank is in this cabinet. It's here in the back. It's in the whole the back side of the, the, the kitchen unit. There's the waste water tank. Now, uh, of course, it works on 12 volts. Um, and you just open the tab. There's even uh, this thing. And you can see in the display, I think don't think you can see it right now, but there, here's the, the display from the camp unit. Here you can see how much clean water there is. And underneath here you can see how much waste water is in the tank. So in that way it's always clear, um, so if the wastewater tank is full, what you do is you drive to uh, a place where you can um, empty the, the tank and at the left hand side, at the back wheel, the left back wheel, there's the, the, the hose. And you open the tap down here in the, in the cupboard, there's uh, the, the tap, you can open that and the water will come out on the outside of the car. And, um, yeah, that just uh, empties your tanks. So it's a very simple system, but it works flawlessly. Then we have a two burner stove. Uh, it has the piezo ignition, so you can just um, turn it, push, turn, and then ignite. And um, they're pretty good burners. It's the only thing we do on in with gas in uh, Volkswagen California. So, uh, and you see in a lot of other camper vans and also caravans that they have these large gas bottles and that's because they also use the heating and the, the refrigerator on gas. And the folks are in California, the only thing we do with gas is cook. That's why we have these blue, small, tiny um, camping gas bottles. 
because gas cooking on gas doesn't take that much so you can go around I don't know for a month or so cooking and everything that's it's no problem because you know if you would have a heater that would take a lot of uh, energy from the bottle but it's just cooking so that's that's great there's also a um, um, down here you can turn off uh, and on the your gas and of course there's a there's a, a tap also on the bottle itself so if two secure locations if you drive you can turn them off and always what I do I turn it off here underneath um, just to make sure if you sleep in the car you don't want gases to come into the car because you always turn it off during driving and sleeping so after cooking off so that's up here it's uh, quite easy now then you have um, another great thing from the California is that you have a compressor fridge now what does that mean uh, like I said a lot of campers they uh, use the the fridges with the 12 volt to 20 volt and gas um, and a lot of other uh, cheaper camper vans they just use a uh, 12 volt ventilator electricity uh, electric uh, cooler but this is a compressor fridge and the compressor that's what you have at home so it's really really cold the only difference is at home you plug it into your um, house socket it might be 110 volts or 230 volts and here in the camper in the California it's 12 volts so 12 volts means it runs from the leisure batteries or your camping uh, batteries um, and um, the good thing about the compressor is when it's um, at the right temperature it will turn off and then when it heats up a little bit it will turn on again to make it cold so it takes less energy of course it's one of the bigger users of the energy but it's very uh, efficient in using energy so that's a great great thing um, and it's 42 liters, so it's pretty large. Uh, a lot of items go in there. You can put your bottles in your for drinking water. Amazing stuff. So then, yeah, that's 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 uh, your kitchen layout. But then, of course, you also want to put your stuff somewhere. Um, and as you've already seen, there are here some here's some storage space. There's a drawer here for your um, knives and forks. Um, here's some space, and underneath here, if you would want to, you could put, you could fit a porta potty uh, toilet. That's the porta potty 335. Um, you can keep it in there, and at nights when you go to sleep, you can take it out and put it on the floor. And even if the bed is out, the down, this bed is out, it will still fit on the floor, so you can use it uh, at night. A lot of people use that. But then also here, you have uh, more storage. Then we have down here in the bench, there's a big um, drawer. And also here you find, if you have the, the, the oil from the factory, you find the, you know, the tool to open the, you do open your oil. It's connected in here. Let's put it back. And then of course you have somewhere to hang your clothes. And from 2018 you have a light here as well. Um, there are some hooks here so you can uh, hang some stuff. And um, you can put a lot of stuff down here as well. Um, this car has the optional safe box. Uh, it will be located down here. And there's of course a mirror for all you ladies. And um, enough space. And then up here we, we call this the aircraft. Uh, a luggage compartment um, here you can fit I always fit uh, stuff like towels and stuff up here it's not your bookshelf don't put heavy stuff uh, heavy items up there because it will open during driving and that's just not safe just the lighter ones will fit there perfectly and then also underneath the bed in the back uh, you have plenty of space to put your boxes and, uh, and so forth so that's the, the all the luggage then it's time to talk about energy because you've seen I've, I've turned on all the lights all the lights are LED and you have three batteries uh, in the California um, in the in the ocean or the coast one uh, is of course for the car and then there are two for for your camping your leisure batteries or your camping batteries one is located underneath the driver's seat one battery and one is located underneath your uh, this cupboard and with that you have enough energy to 
yeah, let's say you, you could do about three days with uh, the fridge running, and um, so that will, that that's enough. Especially with the LED lighting, that's that's possible. It's really possible. Um, the light lighting is nice. You see everywhere. Uh, you can turn off lights as you like. And also here there are two buttons. It's new in the 2018 models. Um, you can turn off the lights as you see. And also there are lights in here. Which is nice. Then uh, for energy you have a 12 volt socket here. A 220 plug is here. And there's even a converter uh, with 220. So this 220 plug only works if you plug in on the outside, you, uh, you plug the cable in, then this will work. And this 220 plug will work always, but it's just 150 watts, so you cannot connect a, a coffee machine or so, but just for your laptop and charging batteries, it's, it's good, good enough for that. And then there's also a 12 volt socket over here, and in the back as well, so there are plenty uh, of places to charge phones. And also up here, that's the one for if you're sleeping in the top bed. Um, if you have a coast, you, do, you will not have these lights standard, so then uh, there's a light that you can plug into the 12 volt socket here. Uh, there are two buttons also up here to turn off these lights, and if you push them, they will get brighter. Opa, there we go. Now they're bright. So, that's how it works. Um, of course, you might have uh, wonder about heating, that's also a, a very important part. And on the California Ocean, and on the if you have a T5 comfort line, will be standard. The coast is an optional extra. Uh, you can order the auxiliary heating, and the California Ocean comes with a diesel-powered auxiliary heating. So it's uh, located underneath the car. It's built there, and it it takes a fuel from your fuel tank, and um, it provides warmth. So. Again, we don't use gas for that, we use the, the fuel that's in the fuel tank. And from this um, black thing here, the warm air will come inside, it will blow the air. And um, it gives the warmth is, is pretty good. Um, upstairs might get a bit cold, but it's a, it's a good air. Uh, actually, the, the, the auxiliary he heating is almost too strong for the car. But um, uh, if you have an ocean, it also comes with remote control. So even from your house, you could turn it on. But most of the functions are um, done by the by the, the camper display, like you see here. Here you can turn on on the upper right side. You can turn on the fridge, and on the upper left side you can turn on the uh, auxiliary heating. And and here you can see your status of the battery. And then if you push and go into the menu, yes, you see pop-up roof, and you can turn. Uh, you can open the roof uh, automatically if you have an ocean and if you have a coast you have to do it manually but um, if you have an ocean you can do it with the computer it works amazingly so that's what that's what you can do and of course like I said already you can see uh, how much water you have and the state of charge of your batteries so uh, and of course if you are going to sleep in a car you want blinds and blinds are very important um, so the California has blinds everywhere, like here, this, normally I just keep that closed, but also here, what I always say, use two hands, because it will, it will last longer, it's, uh, it's two, use two hands, but you see it blinds off completely, as well here, you see, perfect, and down here, so it's all the way around, you can just pull them down, and in the front of the car, uh, I think you might see, there's also one here. It goes to the middle of the, uh, at the mirror, and then you fold down the, uh, your sun visors, and then they're dark as well. And for this window and this window on the other side, your, the, the, the doors, the driver and the passenger door, there are two blinds with magnets, and they just uh, fit completely uh, on the window and they're yeah, connected with magnets, works fine. So I think that's about it for California. Uh, it's a very short tour, but at least it gives you an impression of what you have on, on your California and uh, what the functions are that you uh, can enjoy. So I hope that helps. And one of the most important things 
what I always like to say to the customer who's sitting in your place is that I've showed you almost everything on the car and I'm still sitting in the same place because that makes uh, California life so easy when you would have had a T4 or another camper van you've been working way harder because you have to stand up to make beds and I don't know what and to get stuff from the bench now you can sit down and uh, almost reach ev anything in the car and uh, so I hope it just makes the stuff a bit clearer this is a one take so I try to do it in one take and I hope it's clear enough if you have questions as always com please contact us and if you'd like to buy California uh, we're here to help you and we ship throughout Europe so um, we might have your perfect California uh, beach coast or ocean thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these videos and see you next time